I'm first time in Ukraine and it's very exciting to be here. Like I, I didn't see much before because I've arrived three hours ago, but it looks like a nice city and I'm really looking forward to visit the castle tomorrow and hopefully we're gonna do some clubbing as well because I've heard that nightlife in Kiev is also very nice. So I'm really excited about it and really looking forward. It was in Prague and it was actually very interesting because it was the first time we had such a big event in Czech Republic and the Czech Republic is my own country so it was really interesting experience to bring all the known players there and I think uh, the action was very good like the players were playing pretty good and overall the the venue was very well prepared and like all the small stuff were, were working so yeah it was nice experience and I kind of I was kind of missing that I cannot play there but you cannot be everywhere and like there are a lot of events during the year so that's it and you have to focus on the tournaments when you are playing and this is gonna be the one I would like to win so we are meeting each other on very regular basis. Like there are plenty of events, like Via Game House Cup, Star Letters. Every it's now a usual event. Like there's Seed Story, there are Dream Hacks. So we are meeting each other very often. But we are very good friends, and I'm always looking forward to seeing them, talking with them, like and partying with them as well. So some of them are very, very good friends, and especially I'm very good friend friend with Taj and I'm really looking forward to seeing him here. Well, it's slightly different because if you are playing on LAN, then you have to travel to the tournament. Uh, you often play over the stage, so people are, you know, cheering for you and like there are fans you are meeting. So I actually really like the LAN events while on the online tournaments you are playing from your comfort zone, you are playing from your house and you can take a rest whenever you want. So it's much more uh, exhausting to play on the line and you have to put a lot of things together while I really like to play on the lines because you meet everyone and you also visit new countries and new places. So it's really super nice to go somewhere and play there. In Starlighter, there were invited 16 really, really good players and like uh, the organizers picked them very properly and it was very difficult to get to the finals, but the Star Wars was like one of my top events I like, was really focused and I really wanted to go to the finals. Obviously you cannot be sure that you're not gonna you're gonna make it, but I really wanted to go there so I put a lot of effort and it paid off and I'm glad that I'm here. So I actually kinda I don't want to expect it, but I wanted to do my best and it's paid off, so it's good to be here. In the first group, I was playing against Ty, Scalento and Surrender, three really great players. And luckily, I won my, both of my matches versus Scalento and Ty, so I came through relatively easily. While in the second group, I was up against Lostov, Kucha and Dog. And despite that group, seemed to be a little bit easier than the first one. I really struggled in my matches, like I lost my first match, then when I was against Kucha, I lost first two games, so I was really close to losing the series and like not making in here, but I was able to make a comeback, win 3-2, and then I was playing Klosto again, and it was very close series. It was 2-2, and I was with patrons against Handlock, and the game, looked really bad for me and I, I almost felt I cannot win from some point but I somehow managed to find a window to take some small chance and luckily he didn't have uh, the proper answer for my berserks and I was able to make it to the finals and I was so happy because I felt like I'm already lost but I somehow managed to win and that's why I'm here and I'm glad to have this opportunity. What I like about the Star Ladder is that uh, the organizers pay big attention to players. Like they are talking to us like every time. Should we do this format, or would you prefer to have uh, like this format? And it's really great that there is so good communication between the organizers and players. And it's like much better feeling to be a player here than on some of the other events when it's not working that great. For example. 
here in the finals we came to conclusion that we are going to play uh, Conquest with Ban, which is a very unusual format and uh, we think it could be very good for the viewers because it's going to bring something new, you can see new decks and like I'm pretty sure that every player has a different approach to this, so you can see a lot of new decks and a lot of new strategies, so that's what I appreciate about the Star Letter, that the organizers are really taking care about the audience, but also about the players, about their opinions and about their comfort, so I really appreciate it. I practice with a lot with my friends from MTG environment, because in Magic the Gathering, there are a lot of very smart people who are trying to improve in the card game. So I brought a lot of them into Hearthstone and they're helping me to prepare. And I also practice a lot with other uh, good players, like uh, mostly with G2 members, Thais and Life Coach, because they have very good analytic approach and we are helping each other a lot. So that's my main resources of preparation but uh, honestly most of work you have to do yourself you have to practice a lot on a ladder on you know against like each other players because no one can uh, do the dirty work for Q you have to like real work hardly every day in, in order to improve yourself and like I think everyone here knows it and like there's nothing someone else can do for you. They can obviously help you, but most of the part is on you, on, you, on, on your hard work. Uh, when I started playing Hearthstone, I took everything very seriously. Uh, when, I, when I first time opened uh, you know, the client, I did it with uh, thinking I want to be the best player in the world at some point. So. I never enjoyed, uh, you know, the adventures or, I don't know, some casual modes, but it's something completely different. And in case you want to relax and just, you know, have fun or whatever, that's something you can do. But I'm a very, you know, competitive person, so I would say it's for stuff. I prefer, like, to play with real decks, with real opponents and, like, the real battle, not just hanging out with the casual mod against some boss with 100 lives, but I completely understand that someone likes it. Well, do I feel famous? It's kind of a difficult question, like, there are obviously some people who are interested in what I'm doing, like, which tournament I'm attending, which decks I'm playing or whatever, but most of the time I just go out, I can talk to other people as a normal person as a friend or as a stranger or whatever you call it. So obviously some people care about me, but it's not that we are celebrities or whatever. So it's kind of on level that where I like it that someone's taking care about me, like someone I'm interesting to someone, but it's not annoying or whatever. So it's very good balance at the moment, I would say. I think it's the fact that I can do what I like most of the time, like, I really enjoy gaming and I have a lot of friends who are playing games after the work and like they have to work hard and in their free time they can play computer games or whatever and this is what I do for a living so it's kind of a dream to be honest because uh, you don't have to care about your boss who's like not nice to you in work or whatever you can simply play your game you love and like improving in this and then going to tournament compete with the other players and make a living of this that's great well in some days it's difficult as well because you have to practice when you don't want to you have to play face hunter handlock matchup a million times despite you don't like it from nader side or whatever so it's basically like every other to your job, so you, there are things you like, there are things you don't, but in general I really like the lifestyle, I like traveling, I like meeting new people, and I also like making people happy, and I know that many player, people appreciate when I bring a new deck and they can like try it themselves or whatever, so I'm, I'm glad that I'm pro gamer. Sometimes you disappoint a lot of people who are 
rooting for you or who are, you know, wanted you to win and then they ask, oh, why didn't you win? Like, it's, it's a shame, like, aren't you good enough in the game or what happened? Like, and especially in the card games, sometimes, you know, there's some RNG factor and you just cannot win every tournament. That's how the game works. And sometimes you are really unlucky and not doing well at the tournament. And you have to say, oh, it wasn't great or whatever. And they ask you, oh, are you not good enough or whatever? And it's somehow frustrating that sometimes you feel that you are really good in the game, but your results didn't show up. And you asking yourself, was it a coincidence? What is bad RNG or did I prepare badly? Or you're asking a million questions, and sometimes you just came to conclusion uh, that you know it didn't came your way, and you just have to try next time. So it's not nice every day, but most of the time it's great. When I was a kid, uh, I started playing chess, and uh, it was basically my full-time job or whatever, whatever you call it. Like when I was six, I was playing chess for eight hours per day. And I didn't went. I went real rarely to school and I thought I'm going to be chess professional like the whole my life and after when I was 18 I moved to poker, I was playing poker for a living, then I was playing Magic the Gathering for a living and then I switched to Hearthstone to play for a living so uh, all my friends and my parents were used to it so it wasn't a big change when I moved from MTG to Hearthstone and in general like like what the other people say about it like they used to know it and it's I'm the person who's if there wouldn't be hard I would be doing some other game for a living because I think I feel that gaming is part of my personality and it's going to be here no matter it doesn't matter which game I'm gonna play like I'm still gonna be gamer no matter what I used to play very competitively all the games I came to like when I was a kid, I was playing chess and like I was Czech chess national champion. Then I was playing some, some games, but everything was very, very competitive. When I was playing Dota, I tried to be like as good as I could, but some games are like based on something else. And I, where I'm good is the analytical thinking and like preparation and these kind of stuff. While in some computer games you need to have like very good reflexes or very good team coordination or however you call it and it's a skill I don't want to say I don't have at all but there are people who are much better in this area so I find out that I have to focus on the games where I can use my strong parts which is like you know very good stress management and also like very good math mathematical and analytic approach so I've moved to poker, I've played Magic the Gathering a lot, like, and like all these games have very, very similar aspects that you have to count the probabilities, then that you have to think what your opponents think, and there's a lot of psychological aspects, so uh, I, I would never be where I am at the moment in Hearthstone if I wouldn't have the experience with the other games and that's the reason why I was able to get so quickly into the community and compete the other best players in the world. Uh, when I was playing uh, MTG, only thing we had to do was focusing on the game, like because all the invites were based just on your results. You were collecting points and then you were invited just because you had this amount of points and if you had one point less you wouldn't be invited. Wow. In Hearthstone it's a lot about building community, being known to your fans, to viewers, and it's the era which is completely new for me. I've never was used to it, and I kind of enjoy it, to be honest, but it's something completely new for me, and I don't have these kind of skills, and I'm still learning in this era, trying to improve, like, how to communicate with the friends, with the fans, with, you know, how to do interviews, how to, like, you know, whatever, like, whatever uh, is part of this, like, how, how, how should I stream, how should I this, and, like, I don't want to say I, I don't enjoy it, it's, it's fun, it's something new, but what I'm really focused is to be a good Hearthstone player, and what, that's what I believe, like, when I go to tournament, 
I really want to be the best player and win. Like, it's not about I should make this contacts, I should, you know, focus how to do interview. It's not my first interest or whatever. Like, I just want to be a good player and if I'm gonna be able to manage something else, it's great, but that's not my first, you know, interest or whatever. So that's it. And that's how it's gonna work. And I hope I will play good enough to earn these invites and this popularity just by playing, not because I'm gonna be good smiling or good looking or very entertaining on the stream. It's probably not how it's gonna work, but I hope I can I could be interesting the way I play the game, that's it. What do I like about Hearthstone is the Hearthstone pro player community because actually the reason why I moved to Hearthstone was that in 2014 I visited Dreamhack in Romania and I was no one at that point. Like I was quite known MTG player but no one has a clue who I am in the community and I went to Bucharest and everyone was so friendly, it was so unexpected and uh, it was so nice that uh, I told to myself, oh, I need to play this game because I would like to meet these guys very often Like, and these guys could be my very good friends. I met Taj, I met Life Coach over there, also I've met Skip and we are very good friends since then and I'm always looking forward to see these players at the event. So I really love the Hearthstone community and I think we don't look at each other as a concurrent or rivals, but as a friends and we can learn a lot from each other. So they are really interesting personalities and I would say I have a lot of good friends in Hearthstone area. At the moment I really enjoy Hearthstone and I would like to do some big stuff. Like I've already won Dreamhack, but my goal is to be the world rank one on Ghost Ratings. That's my Go! I would like to achieve and also if I would win some really big event like BlizzCon or War Cyber Arena, it would be great. But it's my main goal to be like the best long-term Hearthstone player in the world and it's very hard to achieve but I'm really going to give it a try and until I'm going to reach this, I think I'm still going to have motivation in Hearthstone. So I think you're going to see me for some time in Hearthstone Arena. At the moment, I see myself as a player, like 100%. And it could obviously change after some time. I could maybe get bored by the game or whatever. But at the moment, I see myself purely as a player because I'm still fascinated by the game. And I'm also not that, like, you know, talkative person or whatever, entertaining. Like, I can obviously work in this area and improve myself, but I, st I still. By heart, I'm still gonna be the player and not, you know, celebrity or whatever how you want to call it. So I, I don't see my future as a caster or whatever. But who knows? To know yourself what you really want. And at the moment, I really like gaming. I really like being competitive and making the other people happy by the cards I'm using or whatever, like, or by impact in the, in the game I have. So at the moment I see my future as a gamer, but I obviously would like to have family or something like this, but it's kind of far away. And at the moment I really like to focus on my game and, and on the gaming in general. If someone is so good in analytical thinking and preparation, why wouldn't he be like the best player in the world in that case? And the only answer is because he's not able to handle the stress uh, at the tournaments. And it's very rare actually because I don't know anyone who has who is very good in understanding the game but he doesn't have results himself. And it's completely different in the other games. I can see that in Dota or in League of Legends or even in Counter-Strike, someone could have very good analytical approach and knows perfectly what to do, what to pick or what to ban or and what to do in general while he's for example, not, not fast enough to execute it himself. So he could be very co very good coach in these games. While I, d I don't know anyone, any personality like this in Hearthstone. And I simply think if someone would be that great, he would play himself and be the best in the world. So I don't see future in co of coaches in Hearthstone. I didn't follow the Hearthstone scene almost at all before I started playing because 
I just know I didn't play like World of Warcraft or anything like this before. I was playing MTG and it's a very similar game to Hearthstone and then I told myself the Hearthstone is very good, many people are watching it and it's a great game over, I should learn it, but I have no clue who's good in the game and like if there are any tournaments or how it works, so I've just learned the game and I start following the scene after because I because the way you improve in the game is that you watch the best players in the world and how they play and what they are doing. So I started to follow the scene right after I planned the game. So that's where I started. For me, it was very, very easy to start playing Hearthstone because my experience for MTG was really big. Like I was one of the best players in the world in MTG when I started to play Hearthstone. And it's very similar that you need to think which card is gonna work well together, how to build your deck, how to balance, like uh, see the uh, strong sides of the cards and see also their potential weakness, like if they are too situational or if they have good enough raw power. And these uh, things comes with an experience. And if you are completely new in the world of card games, you need some time, you need to be patient and you cannot expect that you're gonna win the first week you start playing. And uh, basically the patience is the key. And you also need to watch the best players and look what they are doing and try to do it yourself and then you should start thinking critical what I'm doing wrong why am I not winning enough and you can always blame RNG obviously but most of the time when you lose the game is because you screw something up and you need to really focus on your mistakes and try to put them away and not to just complain about RNG. That's the main, main advice how to improve. And you should also find someone who you trust or who do uh, think he's better player than you and practice with him a lot and asking him, would you do this in this situation or would you do the other stuff? And then you can discuss and if you start understanding his points, then you're gonna improve your, your game as well. Because it's, if you just copy something and not knowing why he did it and without understanding the game, it's gonna work in the short term, but in the long term, you need to understand why should I choose this card for the deck? Why should I mulligan this card or keep it? Uh, and basically you need to know why are you doing certain things and the question why is very, very important in the Hearthstone. I play games, like I play every kind of game and like I'm fascinated by the games in general. Like I'm actually wondering if there was a game I didn't like, like probably not. And if I just have a free time, I play different game. And I kind of feel it's very dangerous because then you became like one-sided person. So. I'm kind of forcing myself, you know, to make some sports, to do like other stuff like meeting with friends, like going out. But in the heart, I'm really a gamer, so I just play different games and that's what I love and what I do. In the last times, I really like Warcraft 3, despite it's a very, very old game. I really like it nowadays because when I was playing the World Cyber Arena Qualifier, there were Warcraft and I was really impressed by the game and at the moment I really like it and I'm practicing it a bit so that's my last joy but I'm really impressed by games in general so that's it. I think I'm extremely competitive and I don't like losing so I wouldn't say I'm that like talented or whatever because when we are starting to play a new game some of my friends are much better but I really like, don't like losing, so I put so much focus and so much energy into the game that at some point, most of the time, I just crush them because I just put more into it. And nowadays I'm re also really experienced that one game helped me when I um, learning a new one. So there are so many aspects, like after some time you get used to stress, you 
know how to manage your time when you are at the event, like how you should sleep, how you should eat, like when you should travel. So there are so many small things like I would say I'm doing correctly that if you put them together, it makes you a good player. It's not just the play skill or whatever. Uh, to be honest, I'm not, uh, you know, the fan or whatever, or follower of the books or uh, like the, the, you know, the consumer of movies. I, I just love the game and I don't need a story behind or I've never read like a single, you know, a picture of the card. I, if you would ask me what's on the Ragnaros picture, I would have no clue to be honest because I, I just know it's 8-8 eight, eight, which randomly shoots for 8 and I would tell you in which deck it's good and in which it's not, but I have no clue what's on the picture. So I'm not obsessed about the universe or about the World of Warcraft or about whatever. Like I'm just impressed by the game, how it works and being a competitive in this era, but I have no clue about anything else. What's my most important thing in life? Like, maybe I would say games, but uh, it's actually not true. Like, uh, I really like to be the person who I like to be. And like, I don't like to pretend anything like to do, to have like more followers, more viewers. I just like being myself. And that's the most important thing for me. And at the moment it's gaming, it's like playing, being competitive, but I would never pretend anything to anyone and it's my life motto, life, lifestyle and it's the thing I'm probably not gonna change like ever. So that's what is most important and like I also try to be like just happy and the games makes me happy and I don't think that if I would change my interest to different I write could make me any more happy so that's why I'll do gaming because gaming makes me happy but it's the most important thing to me like being myself and being happy and that's why I'm gamer at the moment.